New coronavirus variant IHU identified in France. ISRO's ambitious plans for 2022. Selfie from Mars captures Chinese probe doing science on red planet. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. So let's move on to story number one. And as the world grapples with the highly mutated Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2, scientists have identified a new strain of the COVID-19 causing virus in southern France. Known as IHU, the B.1.640.2 variant has been reported by researchers at the Institute IHU Mediterranean Infection in at least 12 cases and has been linked to travel to African country Cameroon. However, the researchers noted that it is too early to speculate on how this variant behaves as far as infection and protection from vaccines is concerned. The yet-to-be peer-reviewed study posted on the preprint repository Medrexiv on December 29 revealed that IHU has 46 mutations and 37 deletions resulting in 30 amino acid substitutions and 12 deletions. Amino acids are molecules that combine to form proteins and both are the building blocks of life. 14 amino acid substitutions including N501Y and E484K and 9 deletions are located in the spike protein. Most currently used vaccines targeted at the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 which the virus uses to enter and infect the cells. N501Y and E484K mutations were earlier also found in beta, gamma, theta and omicron variants. The B.1.640.2 has not been identified in other countries so far or labelled a variant under investigation by the World Health Organization. So let's move on to story number two. And India's most ambitious undertaking in space, Gaganyaan has entered the testing phase and the Indian Space and Research Organization is hopeful of launching the first unmanned mission this year. ISRO Chairman K. Sivan in his New Year message said that teams are working on testing the Vikas engine cryogenic stage crew escape systems for the mission. He said and I quote, Tests and progress for the human-rated L110 Vikas engine cryogenic stage, crew escape system motors and service module propulsion systems. The $200 motor has been realized for the ground test too. Main parachute drop test has also commenced, Sivan said, adding that astronauts have completed the generic space flight training in Russia and the Indian leg has commenced. There is a directive to launch the first unmanned mission before the 75th anniversary of India's independence and all the stakeholders are putting their best effort to meet the schedule. I'm sure we'll be able to meet this target, Mr. Sivan said. Apart from readying Gaganyaan, ISRO has several missions that will spread wings in 2022. ISRO chairman said that the Earth Observation Satellite 4 and 6 will be launched on PSLV along with the maiden flight of the small satellite launch vehicle. Meanwhile, the hardware loop test for the Aditya L1 mission, the Indian spacecraft to the sun, is complete. Accommodation studies for Exposat in SSLV are done and the space agency has delivered the S-band SAR payload to NASA for the NISAR mission. Talking about the decadal plan for the Indian space program, Sivan said that it will foster all-round growth in operational missions, launch services, science missions, technology demonstration missions and new technology development initiatives. While ISRO is working on the Gaganyaan and Aditya L1 missions, scientists have major plans in the pipeline that include Disha, a twin aeronomy satellite mission, the Venus mission and Asrapnis, a joint science mission, Trishna. Sivan said that the Krishna mission is meant for accurate mapping of land surface temperatures. And let's move on to story number three. And China's Tianwen-1 mission has beamed back new images from Mars capturing not just the planet but itself as well. The selfie captured by the spacecraft shows the vast expanse of the red planet in the backdrop as it orbits around. The China National Space Administration released the pictures along with the first full picture of the mission 
orbiter. In the color pictures, the orbiter is flying around the red planet in an orbit within the ice covers, Mars North Pole and a barren Martian plane in the background. Launched in July 2020 from the Wenshang Space Launch Center in the Hainan province, the Tianwen-1 probe, named after an ancient Chinese poem, travelled a total of 475 million kilometres. The spacecraft entered Martian orbit on February 10, 2021 after conducting several trajectory manoeuvres. The mission was unique since China successfully managed to not just orbit the red planet but also land and rove on the Martian surface in its maiden attempt. The Chinese rover Shurong travelled into the Martian soil, becoming the sixth rover on the planet after five from NASA. The Chinese rover is working in an impact crater named Utopia Planitia, selected mainly because it is flat and relatively safe place to land. It is now heading towards a region that might once have been the coastline of an ancient ocean, where researchers will search for clues about the evolution of Mars. The mission was one of the three to arrive on Mars in 2021 and the others were NASA's Perseverance rover and an orbiter delivered by the United Arab Emirates. And with this, we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Stay tuned to India Science. Namaskar.